Question one asks to use VLOOKUP to assign month names and weekday names based on the date. It doesn't actually say based on the date, but obviously that's where we need to get that information from. So let's go to our transactions, right? This is where everything is. And before we do any sort of VLOOKUP, we need to do something first. We need to basically set the stage. Um, and so now that we've had all this from the previous exercises, we actually have the year itself, we have the month, we have the day, we have the weekday number. These are not as useful, especially with month and weekday, because it's a number, not a name. We actually want to use a name so that we can identify it more easily. So let's do this first by setting the stage in our lookup values worksheet. This is key, right? Set up the stage before you do a VLOOKUP so that you're ready to go. So in the VLOOKUP, uh, in, in the lookup values worksheet, we're going to start by saying, you know what, let's call this uh, month number for uh, the beginning part, and then month uh, name, we could just call it month like that. I'm going to expand this column. So it's going to be uh, between 1 and 12, right? I could keep typing it out manually, or I can select all three of these, recognize, have Excel recognize the pattern, go to the bottom right, click and start dragging. It's going to tell me, oh, I think I recognize a pattern here. This is what it's going to show me. It gives me a little preview. When I let go, it's good to go. So the month, we can actually do this any number of ways. Let's do it for simplicity as three uh, letters, all capitalized. I'm going to hit Enter. And it's going to be pretty smart, because if I double click on this, it's going to know what I'm, what I'm trying to do. We're not the first ones to do this, people. Excel has figured it out. So here we go. We have the month number, and we have the month name. Let's do the same thing already for weekday, so we don't have to waste time later. We'll do weekday num and weekday. Again, I'll expand this column a little bit. And we'll start with 1 through 7. right? And this time, this time I'll uh, expand it only until 7. And we'll start with Sunday. In this case, I'll do it differently. I'll actually do the full, full day of the week, like so. And we'll copy it all the way down. So what we'll have now is basically the setup for the VLOOKUP as we're about to do right now. So let me just clean this up a little bit by making all of row 1 in bold and making all of row 1 with wrap text over here in the Home tab. I could also do Control 1 and then move to the specific area that's always going to be there no matter what version of Excel you have. It's in the Alignment tab and it's going to be wrap text is this little check button. Uh, so make sure that's on and we're good to go. Now I'm going to basically set the alignment to be centered both vertical and horizontally. And now we can actually start to move things around and again, waste less space. I'm a big stickler for this, as I'm sure you're noticing, so that now we have a much better uh, use of our space. Pretty cool. So we're ready to go now. I'm going to actually even go one step further and minimize the space between these, because these are lookup tables. Again, this is aesthetics, but it's going to help you later on when you need to actually fit a lot more in your, in your, in your projects. So I'm going to exactly get the same uh, width between all these other lookup tables. And the way I do that with the keyboard, with the Alt uh, keyboard hotkey, is to do Alt H, O, right? H is for home, O is for format, and then W is going to give me the column width in exact numbers. I just happen to use 2 as the width, right? And that's basically going to get me a nice amount of space between. So I'll do that more quickly, Alt H, O, W, 2, Enter. And there we go. Nice way to do that. You could also do this by hand uh, with the mouse. Great. Now we've set this up. Now let's go back to our 1.0 transactions. Still with me, right? Let's create new columns to put this new information in. So let's start with the month. We're going to want to uh, add a new column to the right of it. So I go afterwards, right? Right click on it and then do insert, right? I could do the same thing without using the mouse by going to wherever I want. Uh, use control space to expand the entire column, control shift plus to uh, insert whatever I'm asking for in this case. So this is transaction month. Let's actually rename this transaction month number. And then we'll call this transaction month. Do the same thing here. We'll rename this. I'm going to hit F2 to edit the cell. Uh, num, hit tab to go to the right. And now I'm going to do transaction weekday like so. Cool. There's actually another way we could do this, but we're going to use VLOOKUP on purpose just to practice the, uh, the way of doing it. So here we go. We have the month number. From that month number, we want to now associate that number with this whole reference guide that we just set up. In this case, obviously, September, right? In the way, specific way that we set it up. So here's how we do it step by step. We're going to go to the very top. Make sure you're at the top, because when you freeze panes, uh, it could be confusing, and you might think you're at the top and start over here, but in fact, I'm on row uh, 47. So instead, go to the very top, then go down one, and you're guaranteed to be exactly at the very top of that uh, worksheet. So now I'm going to start typing. I'm going to say, you know what, let's do equals VLOOKUP. 
And the way we set this up, and the way you always want to set this up, is so that basically, uh, you know, 19 times out of 20, you're going to have whatever the lookup value is immediately to the left of uh, where you were, where you're starting from. So it's going to be this lookup value, which makes sense, right? It's this is the month number that I'm going to use to find the month name. Makes sense. Comma, the table array, I'm going to go back to my lookup values worksheet over here, click on it, immediately gives me the new name of the worksheet on top. I don't have to touch that, just be aware of what it's doing. And now I'm going to select the entire table array, the lookup table, right, the reference that we're going to use. Notice that I'm not going to include the headers. I do not need the headers. Click and drag all of this. And immediately before anything else, I'm going to hit F4 uh, to make everything here anchored in place with an absolute reference, which has a little dollar sign in between uh, before the column letter and the row number for each of them. Right? We don't want this reference table to go anywhere. That would be a big pain in the butt. So we're keeping it here. Right? That's the next piece. I don't want to move anywhere else or do anything else until I hit comma. Right? That's how you know you're moving to the next argument. Otherwise, you start clicking somewhere, it might do stuff for you that you didn't ask for. Now, the column index number, let's stay here because it's easier to, to look at it this way. The column index number is looking for do you want to spit out column one or column two, right? It's always relative to the table, right? To the lookup table. You never want to use one because that would just give you the same thing that you put in. It would give us this, the same nine, the same number. So most of the time we're going to say two, right? We're going to say, you know what, let's get the second column, whatever is immediately to the right uh, in our lookup table. Comma, and I'm going to hit false to do an exact match just because there are no other months and there's no in-between and I don't want anything to be confusing later on. Let's guarantee that it's going to be either the answer we want or some kind of an error which will actually bring to our attention that something has gone amiss, right? Now let's close parentheses and hit enter. Here we go, right? It's totally ready to go. The F2 piece, right? The lookup value is relative. It's immediately to the left of where we were starting from. And the table array, the lookup table, is anchored in place with absolute references. This is how you need it to be, otherwise it will severely screw up what you're doing later on. So you may have noticed that not working if you forgot to use those dollar signs, which you can use F4 when you're in cell edit mode. I'm gonna copy all the, this all the way down. Again, I could do a copy and paste, but because it's next to, um, there's, there's data to the left and to the right of what I'm about to do, I can just double click, select the cell I want, Double click on the bottom right, and it's going to fill to the very bottom. I'm going to hit Control down to check it to the very bottom of the sheet, and it knows exactly where to stop because there's data to the left and to the right. Pretty cool. Now I'm going to go Control up. I'm going to do the same type of thing. It should be pretty simple at this point to do the same thing with weekday, right? No, nothing new here. Let me just scroll to the right. So the more you practice this, the better you're going to get, and I've done this more times than I'd like to admit. Uh, but it actually helps quite a bit the more you do this. So again, I'll just go through it. Equals VLOOKUP. Notice that I'm going to start it from the value, the lookup values immediately to the left. Comma, I'm going to move to the other worksheet with control page down now. And it's going to, uh, when I use the keyboard, it's going to start to fill out the name of the worksheet. I'm going to hit control shift right and down and it expands to that uh, area. Hit F4 immediately. Comma, go to two, the second column and then comma false to make sure that it's an exact match. And if there's a problem, I'll see it immediately. Hit enter. And now I can actually use another trick to kind of fill this up. Uh, we're going to go control down to the right, control shift up, and control D. That was more complicated, right? I'm going to do control uh, Z to undo. You could have just done this, but that uses the mouse, and I like to not use the mouse. I'm a very keyboard friendly person. So that's it. There you have it. You now have from those month numbers and weekday numbers, you now have something that makes a lot more sense to us as people to see, oh, okay, it's September, right? It's April and it's Sunday. Duh, that makes a lot more sense than what is week, what is day one of the week? Not a good way to think about it. Make it easy on whoever is looking at this uh, project to know exactly what you mean without any mental effort whatsoever. They will love you forever. They won't even know what's going on, but believe me, they'll appreciate it. So that's it. Question one. Hope you've enjoyed it.